you know, I usually do all my studio work outdoors, but as winter, as the weather changes. Why don't you cut this limb? Huh? Why don't you cut this limb so you can use the sidewalk? Because I like the limb so much. Because it sort of keeps the front of the house looking like it's abandoned, you know, and people don't come around. My mailman knows to come. Other people don't come up to the door. Christians with literature and stuff like that, you know. Okay. So I'm usually like working outdoors, but as weather changes, I move indoors and uh, pack up everything. And uh, so, uh, and I, you can just browse around as much as you want, but I'm open to lots of questions. Where in the world, where do you live? <laughs> well, <laughs> I've got it narrowed down. <laughs> And usually, like I said, for the winter, I, you know, I bring all the artwork in. This is mostly new sculpture over here, that uh, uh, product of the eight months of shutdown. So all this is new? A few of the pieces in the back aren't, but these heads especially are stuff that I've been working on. Uh, portraits of friends, friends, lovers, and... My goodness. And... Uh, this fellow here was a portrait I did of a, my dear boyfriend Murray. that got murdered. This is a friend who was murdered? Boyfriend. When? It happened quite a few years ago, but I just uh, think about him a lot and I wanted to do a portrait of him. Mm -hmm. So is this recent? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My gosh. And this is where, you know, I like uh, sleeping with all of my anxieties and fears surrounding me, you know, so there's... <laughs> oh my goodness. That's your good. That's your nighttime lullaby. <laughs> <laughs> and then after a little while, sometimes they'll fart later on too. Like <laughs> I wanted to show you this new photo little thing I'm doing, Steve. These are sweetheart pillows that are all mug shots of my different models. Yeah, and it's like the you know the reverse oh, sequence. Oh my. So they're sort of fun. Those are great. I use my art to like try and get people focused on their lives and especially on addiction and the madness they live in. Mm. They love my sculptures, a lot of them, they love the stories and then I tell them to tell me more about their stories and they don't even know they have a story. And, uh, and I say, oh, well, I'm saving things about your story to use in my art one day and they so bewildered because they've never been told anything but their piece of shit, you know, and they didn't know they had a story and that anyone was interested in their story. And so I really like taking a cheap souvenir, a sentimental souvenir kind of thing and making it a face of stark reality. <laughs>